good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to One Hot Mess. Today is Scripture Sunday. Yes. Get some water. Water, water, water. Cheers. Nice and cold. Um, so, how is everybody? I have had a very low-key um, day today. I was going to go to church with a friend, and I didn't go to church. I didn't sleep last night at all, and um, yeah, that was no fun. No fun sleeping. So, you know, I was cranky, crabby. I was hot. I, um, yeah, it wasn't a good thing. So, I read the Bible this morning, prayed, watched some um, Joyce Myers. So, that's what I did this fine Sunday morning, or day. It is hot outside. I please, I ask if you have elderly neighbors or whatever and you know they don't have air or something, check in on them. Um, uh, watch your animals, your kitty cats, your dogs. It's, it's really hot out there, guys. So, plants, make sure your plants get watered. Yeah. All right. I opened up the Bible. You saw me open up the Bible, and before I got on, I prayed that God would give me a verse to to read to you all. The verse that I am going to, or the book that I'm going to be reading from is Zechariah. So, I will be doing that. I am going to be in the chapter 2 of Zechariah, and it is going to be verse 10. So verse 10 says, Sing for joy and be glad, O daughter of Zion. For behold, I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, declares the Lord. Think about them, apples. I'm going to read it one more time and then I will read it again as I always do. And then the description, or like a little bit of a, a description of what it means to at least one author. Sing for joy and be glad, O daughter of Zion. For behold, I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, declares the Lord. Yeah. Oh, I am so jumpy. I, I mean, did you see that? I am jumpy. I jump at everything. The phone rings, I jump. Yeah, it's cray cray. All right, so I'm going to read it one more. Then I'm going to read the little description that there is with this verse this verse sing for joy and be glad O daughter of zion behold i am coming and i will dwell in your midst declares the lord this is the little like explanation or a little something for you to think about we can we can trust god's promise because he puts his love and infinite power into making sure they come to pass this I'm sorry, I thought I had an ant on me. This prophecy was fulfilled through Jesus, who is also called Emmanuel, which, translate, which translated means God with us. You can find more information from Matthew 1, 23, Ezekiel 37, 27, John 1, 14, 14, 23, that would be John, 2 Corinthians 6.16 6, and Revelations 21.31. And when we know that God is with us and that he desires intimate fellowship with us, how can we not break out in song and rejoice with all our hearts? I like that and I like the little description of the verse too. Um, you know, some churches, you're not supposed to sing. You're, you're just supposed to sit there and be quiet. And, you know, um, I guess you can sing, but you can't say praise the Lord or any of that stuff. But um, I belong to a church that um, does that stuff, at least uh, the one in Mechanicsville. But, um, and you can. This one here in Tappahannock, or I mean, not Tappahannock, in Warsaw, I don't. Well, sometimes I see them, you know, praising and whatnot, but nothing, nothing um, crazy. But yes, I think it's very important. Sing his praises every day. Do it. So, I hope you enjoyed this. 
And if there is something that you would like me to add, besides just reading the verse three times and then talking about the verse via uh, a little commentary, let me know. Otherwise, may you have a very blessed, blessed Sunday. I know I'm looking rather uh, raw right now, but um, it's just been one of those days. One of those days. If I could tell you everything that happened today, and you'd be like, oh my God. But anyway, five minutes is good. I just want you to know I love you. Please love other people. Because, well, first and foremost, you need to love yourself. And then you can love other people. Um, and do give other people smiles and, you know, give them compliments. People like that. So, um, with this, I will let you all be. You have a great rest of your Sunday. I might be coming on. I might not be coming on. I don't know. I, um, I've done some crocheting today, and I think I want to get into some diamond painting for the rest of the evening, or I may crochet more. I'm not quite sure. I'm very frustrated right now with my crocheting because every skein that I have gotten has and even though I'm picking it out from the right um, end and everything, it gets it gets knotted, it gets screwed up, and I am I'm just beyond myself with that. But anyway, so that's a little rant there. Otherwise, I love you guys. Have a great one, and God bless.